January was the longest year of my life. Yeah. January was so long it felt like a year. That's true, actually. I did go to Switzerland. I don't know, man. I stepped into a time portal and I suddenly believed that Switzerland exists. I'm not 100% sure, dude. Fake news, Loco. In Australia, it's Saturday. And Australia is in the Eurovision, so that means that Saturday is in the EU time zone. That is very true. Australia is one of my favorite European countries. Top three. Top three European countries. What was that animal again we were talking about yesterday from Australia? Because of course it's from Australia. Ah, uh, was it a platypus? Is that what we were talking about? I haven't quite done my research in the platypus details. But this will have to happen at some point. I found out that the platypus apparently is venomous, a mammal, yet it lays eggs. What the f- Australia? What the f- that makes no sense. Those things do not add up. Also, it looks kind of cute. The platter, yeah, you apparently, I don't know what, what kind of, look at this, man. 40,000 receptors in stripes on the bill. Best accuracy is outwards and downwards. That's what she's, no. Muscles of prey create small electrical signals. Dude, this guy is using his beak like that. That's amazing. You, hurrah, you, hurrah, you, hurrah, you, hurrah, you, Arrah. Arrah. I say you, you say you, Arrah. thank you, you Arrah. Top three EU countries, Australia, Belgium, and Krefeld. Krefeld is definitely in the top three of my favorite European countries, yes. The most beautiful place in the entire world. It is where esports began, and esports will probably end as well. It's a beautiful thing, guys. Does anyone else go back to watch when Locust stormed all of his marine reinforcements? No, nobody goes back to that one, Ikea Red. Nobody. When am I gonna play another weeb game? I'm playing Oxygen Not Included right now, Pete. Isn't that a weeb game? What do you mean? What does weeb stand for? I'm not sure. Anime enjoyer. Oxygen is not even close to being a weeb. Are you gatekeeping weebiness right now, memory? Wow, dude. Here I am thinking I've finally become a weeb. Weeps are all gatekeepers? Oh, I am not really entirely familiar. Dude, I've, I've been thinking about watching anime, but I found out it's really hard to watch anime legally. Like, why why is it so hard to pay for, for the anime you want to watch? For some reason, that is difficult. Like, I just want to be a good guy, okay? There are like 17 shady websites where you... It's it's weird. I I genuinely tried, but I, I after like half an hour, I was like, okay, hey, f*** I can't. Yeah, you gotta be, uh, Crunchyroll is ass, dude. I was genuinely, like, people have hyped me up about Crunchyroll, and it's maybe because it's, like, different locally or whatever. But in the Netherlands, I, I tried, like, I literally started the trial and all that, right? Then I spent a bunch of time on Crunchyroll. And then for some reason, for all the shows that people have recommended to me, which is, like, two dozen of them, like, I, I like, look for all of them. None of them had the full thing, and some of them started at, like, season four. Like, for some reason, the first couple seasons of the show I wanted to watch weren't included. I don't understand. I I don't know. Like, apparently you need a VPN to then pretend like you're in the States, and then you can... It's... I don't know, man. I'm jumping through too many hoops. I don't know why. I think maybe in the States is great. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's definitely a licensing issue, but... My God. Like, but, but like, why would there be an anime that has only season four and five? Like, what's the use? It makes no sense. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, I great. I wanted to watch season four. What a great suggestion. Playing StarCraft during the day, playing StarCraft at night. Okay. I thought this one was pretty great. Chat GPT, write the public response from Blizzard Entertainment addressing Artosis's issues with the balance of the game. Dear Artosis, we understand your frustration with the balance of the Protoss race in StarCraft. However, it is important to note that the game has been in existence for over 20 years and the balance has remained unchanged for a reason. Our development team has meticulously tested and balanced the game to provide a fair and challenging experience for all players. We encourage you to continue honing your skills and learning new strategies to become a better player. Remember, success in StarCraft often comes down to strategy and tactics rather than just the race you choose to play. Thank you for your support and dedication. Best regards, Blizzard Entertainment. This is so good, man. God, such a good response. Really, really nicely done. Yeah, someone apparently beat the Wings of Liberty campaign on a stream deck. Dick, dick, stream deck. 
Someone beat it on their stream deck. That's kind of cool. Um, normal difficulty and normal speed. So basically really slow. Like basically if you're used to watching StarCraft, very slow. But yeah. What is this? Yeah, no, I think I'm not a weep after all. Never mind. I don't want to be a weep anymore. It was all a mistake. My life for Kaokura. I long for Kaokura. She owes. Kura, I serve. What are we looking at, guys? I don't know what's happening. Kura, guide me. Entaru, Kura. All for Kaokura. Doom to all. She's a VTuber, right? Gargura? Yeah, 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 yeah. My god. 4, like 4.3 million subs. And this many videos. How is she not... How, how is she not capitalizing on... Oh, she does streams on YouTube. Oh, that's what she does. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was gonna say. Well, she doesn't really stream that much either, apparently. What the hell, man? She barely streams. Under the sea. Is this the monet the, the weep monetization model? Is this is this what you do? You only sporadically stream like twice a month? That is the way. I I think I'm good. I think I'm good, Mugetsu. I'm not familiar with uh, like I've seen her face, or or uh, avatar face whatever but i don't know i'm not exactly sure loco rethinking his life choices yeah me out there keeping a strict schedule no 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 it's all good she's a vtuber shark ah right a shark not to be confused with an arca gape already suggested an emote actually there was this great video that zombie grub posted on um on her twitter let me see if i can find it real quick she posted a picture or like a video a little video from uh, the break room from the green room uh, of us watching the game at the event. Where is it? <laughs> My f face, man. My. <laughs> Look at my. He's got it. <laughs> my teeth are falling out of my f face, man. How stoner are you? Not at all. Not at all. Literally just half a kebab. By the way, by the way. Speaking of kebab, notice I'm not wearing my button up here anymore. No more button shirt. You can imagine what happened. I ate half a kebab. Turns out I am literally a child. But luckily I was already done. I didn't have to be on, on camera anymore. I did bring a backup shirt in my backpack as well, just in case, because I knew it was gonna f happen. Luckily though, it happened right after I was finished. Anyways, it is what it is. But yeah, that is definitely a potential Twitch chat emote. I'm, I'm happy to add. If you eat a kebab and you don't need to de-stress, are you even eating a kebab? Or oh, you mean redress? I read that as de-stress, so I was like, that makes no sense. You thought it was too spicy? No, I don't think I put any spice on it at all. Oh yeah, I saw that, Ariel. That was like a nice uh, set of videos of me dancing on camera when I thought the camera was off. And it was also me getting makeup on my face and stuff when I also didn't realize they were filming. Just great. Those are my favorite shots. Basically, when you walk into a studio, the move that you have to make is to assume that the cameras are on all the time. You made GIFs about them? Oh, of course you did, Gabe. Gabe, can you send me the, the, the GIFs, GIFs, whatever you call them, that you made? I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Gabe probably had them ready to go within minutes. Within like five minutes after it was broadcasted, they were already out there, man. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, Gabe didn't send me the, the GIFs. Oh, okay. I just, you know, I was ready to say it. <laughs> What a what a <laughs> what a what a great dance move! Yes. So I didn't see this camera guy because he was like filming the screen of another camera guy. Look, in my defense, I couldn't have known. Okay, there was no way, there was no way for me to be aware of this. What is this? Red lips? Why is this gift called li red lips? I had a bunch of people asking me if I was wearing lipstick. You just can't play. For I wasn't wearing lipstick, chat. I would not be ashamed to admit that at all, but I was not. Those kind of spots. We are gonna go to the desk. I think it's because they put makeup on my face that makes my face look paler or some sh I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, it does kind of look like it a little bit. Yeah, I understand, I understand. I have just naturally beautiful red plump lips apparently, Chet. That's how it is. Any other memes we need to look at? Or are we good? 
Thort made it transparent. Oh god. Linking Six things. <laughs> Hot lips. Chef kiss. What, what? Dude, it got it got much worse. This is so f bad. This is the lowest quality. Uh, hor it's horrible. I like the white flesh as well when it restarts. Low dance on better Twitch TV. Hey, thank you, Banana Boat. Welcome back. <laughs> they started with it? <laughs> right after the break? Great, great stuff. I like how Wardy is just kind of wiggling back and forth. Look, chat, you gotta bake yourself back up, okay? If you're casting, so one of the days, I was casting like the first series, and then like the third, and then like the ninth. So there was like a five hour break in between, okay? You gotta get back into the action one way or another. You need to get, you know, out of uh, hibernation mode, you know? What's this? Okay, one more thing, and I'm gonna open up to StarCraft 2. Hey everyone, so about this Zerd Cabal thing. Yeah, I'm a member. Big. <laughs> what is this? Did you make a f AI? Hold up right now. Did you get an AI to sound like me? Hey everyone, so about this Zerg Cabal thing. Yeah, I'm a member. Big deal. We just wanted to make Zerg the strongest race. And maybe we got a little carried away with the whole developer control thing. But hey, can you blame us? Our Yo, this is illegal, man. Actions were driven by a desire to see the Zerg race thrive. And I see no reason to back down or disband simply because it has been met with criticism. This, this guy, this guy has a better accent than me. It sounds less like me right now. Yeah, it becomes too American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, thanks for- It does kind of sound off a little bit like me. Hey everyone, so about this Zerg- yeah, no, it, it, yeah, no. It's a little off. It's a little off. Also, banned. Right away. Okay, no, okay, fine, fine. We buck. Right away. We have a zero tolerance policy for this. Right away. This guy sounds better than me, man. <laughs> you added this as a better Twitch emote. Why is there a flash? There's a flash halfway through this. The flash is annoying. Hold up, let me refresh. Hey, there it is. Turn it off and then I turn it on again. <laughs> Thank you, Thort. Perfect work of art. The flesh is stupid, but like it all fleshes. Yeah, it all it, it's all synchronized. That's so stupid. You got, uh, oh, you got put into ad prison? Sorry about that. I'm running as few ads as possible this month because the Twitch ad revenue is absolutely atrocious. But I'm running enough to make sure that we're not having any pre-roll ads on the channel. I think pre-roll ads are probably worse than mid-roll ads, although I'm not 100% sure. I personally don't like pre-roll ads at all. I like them on YouTube because they pay really well, but... <laughs> Other than that, not a fan. No, but seriously, like, um, on, on Twitch is just the worst, man. On, on YouTube, you don't miss anything, right? Like, after the pre-roll ads, you can at least watch the... But, like, a pre-roll ad on Twitch... I don't know about you guys, but when I'm browsing for a stream to watch on Twitch, if I'm hit by a pre-roll ad, nine times out of ten, I will click away. Especially if it's someone I'm unfamiliar with. I'm like, you know what? This will probably be a stream anyways. <laughs> I, I I don't know, man. I, I, I'm really turned off by pre-roll ads. I think pre-roll ads are the worst. That's what ad block is for? Yeah, ad block doesn't work so well on Twitch anymore, though. Also, a lot of people watch on mobile these days. And on mobile, it, uh, it obviously doesn't work. If I get an ad on YouTube, I alt F4. <laughs> YouTube is really good at surfing ads, man. You must alt F4 a lot. <laughs> I also think the YouTube ads are not nearly as obnoxious as the Twitch ads. I don't know. Twitch ads are kind of... Like, you sometimes just get the same one repeated 14 times. You're like, okay, yes, thank you. I don't know. Like, uh, the whole Twitch... Whatever it's called. The um, Twitch Turbo? Doesn't seem nearly as much value as YouTube Premium either. <sighs> you watch way too much YouTube. Me too, man. YouTube successfully bullied me into getting... YouTube Premium. Because it's a... Uh, Business expense. <laughs> if you can justify something as a business expense, it's pretty great. That makes things way more justifiable. We can turn that into a meme. Low business expense. There's not that many things you can make a business expense as a streamer or like a content creator, man. 
Unless maybe you do like a specific type of stream. But if you play games, I mean, you can obviously play games, right? And make that a business expense. But if, yeah, you could, if you do hot tub streams, you could definitely business expense your hot tub. You know that microphone that you lick with ASMR streams? That one? Business expense. No, heating, electric, clothes. None of that is a business expense in the Netherlands. I mean, you can, but then it would be fraud, which, you know, not what I want to do. Bad plan. Fraud doesn't have the same ring to it. Unless, yeah, unless I, that that's the weird part about it. I think I can business expense electricity and all that if I have a dedicated space, like a separate building or whatever, like an office space that I rent, then it would work. But since I work from home, I can do the same thing, which is really weird. I'm not entirely sure 100% on all the tax laws in the Netherlands either though. Believe it or not, I know. Got to spend money to make money. Time to make a streaming shit outside. I wish I had the space for that one. Yeah, I think in the Netherlands you have to, it has to be separate. So I think actually if you have like, if you have like, I don't know, your house and then you have like a little separate building, I think you can technically count that because you would have to, you know, anyways. Loco, we give you free advice all the time. That's true, actually. Only the best. Loco, the future is now. Oh, God. What did you link me, Gabe? Is it a VTubing thing again? <sighs> it was slash R slash StarCraft. Why did it still turn into a VTuber all of a sudden? You better work. You better work, Zerglings. Come on, puppies. Die for your mother. You better die for your mother. You don't die for your brood mother. Did someone said Mario Erotico underscore? What's going on, Playgirl? Welcome. Are you even my little zerglings? I I don't I don't know I don't uh, no no. I don't want to I don't want to see anyone treating Lenny like that. Okay, that's disrespectful towards Lenny. Watopia is the real VTuber expert. Gabe thinks he's the VTubing expert, but actually, Watopia, man. Gabe's like a Master League VTuber expert. You don't watch VTubers, Nita Hunter? I find that suspicious. Yeah, Watopia is like the Serral of VTubing. Precisely, man. Gabe is like Master League at best. If that, to be honest. Time lapse? Underwater? Bicycle stalling? Amsterdam Central Station? Someone made a time lapse? They do some pretty cool shit, man, in the Netherlands. Like, not me, but like other people. So this is an underground parking garage for bicycles. What a great project to pour a couple billion into. <laughs> I don't know how much this costs, but it looks expensive. If it took them three years to complete with that many things, with that many people in the city center, I mean. 65 million? Really? It took only 65 million? No way. So anyways, the water parking is under... Underwater? Or sorry, the bicycle parking? 65 million, yeah, but I'm saying only. But like, to employ all these people for three years and to build all of this? For some reason, I feel like it was more expensive than that. This underwater $65 million garage could be the world's most beautiful parking deck and it will never see a single car. It's not meant for cars. That's the whole point. That's awesome though, man. So wait, is this not available yet? Is this not open yet? Using the garage is free for the first 24 hours and costs 1 euro 35 for each day that follows. Bro, that's amazing. Genuinely cool. Yeah, yeah, for government projects. Uh, it seems pretty empty right now, though. Yeah, I don't know. It's set to open on February 15th? Wait, no. The second one is set to open. It's free if you leave and come back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, basically what they're doing in Amsterdam is they're getting rid of a lot of car, like, parking spots. So, like, Amsterdam parking is already a disaster if you go by car. And they are closing down a lot of the parking spots. They're getting rid of a lot of the roads and the, the you know, 
They're making it uh, less car friendly. As they're trying to rely more and more on public transport. Cars are pretty sick though, man. I should take my bike there. Yeah, I'm just gonna take my bike. <laughs> We're like, hey bike, go. We're going on a little trip. Bicycles in Amsterdam can be a little scary though. Tourists on bicycles, that is. It's great to get around, but you do have to uh, you do have to be careful. If you're driving, if you're driving in Amsterdam, there could be you know a tourist coming out of every area at any point. Most of the tourists can ride a bicycle, but many of them have like Silver League bicycle riding skills at best. You know, tourists in boats in the canal also scary. I wasn't there when you and uh, Rushy went, Mutlasses. Mutlasses and Rushy took a lovers' cruise. It was a beautiful time. It was just him and Rushy. Yeah, I wasn't- I wasn't welcome. Why are there two probe buttons? Warp in pro- HUH! Oh, that's cursed. Morning, Loco. Welcome back. You were great at EM. Thank you very much, Barnacle. I appreciate you, man. I can warp in probes. So wait, can I do this outside of power fields? No. Why? So, there are only 25 minerals each. But this is on a cooldown. Why would I want to warp in a probe? I guess it's going to be helpful for fast expending. But I've never noticed that I'm not building probes fast enough. Yeah, you can do both at once, exactly, but... Anyway. So I guess if I have one proxy pylon, I could technically warp in an extra... unit over there. That sounds kind of OP, to be honest. You can build on creep? What? Oh, well, good thing you mentioned this Orca Warrior, because I never would have seen. I wouldn't have tried. I can build on creep? That's cursed. My stalkers are small, guys. <laughs> okay. No gases here. Wait, the probes cause no supply? What? The probes cause no supply. That's, I guess, why you can auto-build them. Wait, so does it auto-build already now? Because I've turned it off. Wait, didn't I turn it off? Auto-cast workers? Smart worker auto-cast. So if I turn this on, I don't have to... Like, this Nexus I just built doesn't even have to do it. Like, I don't... Zealots are one supply, stalkers are two, yes. There's still 100 minerals and these are still... Oh, I just realized you guys can't see. Hold up. I will move the sellout bar to the left. Guys, don't panic. Everybody stay cool. You'll get used to it over here, okay? I promise. Yeah, so there's still 125.50. Can I autocast these? I can autocast these too? And this Nexus? Oh, wait, I thought I just turned it on that it would start that up automatically. You have not enough minerals. Mate, I don't have to do anything. Where's the sellout bar? Don't worry about it. I can autocast the warp gates. I don't know what it does, but I'm assuming as soon as I have resources available, these things are just gonna build. Yeah. Man, it's good to be a Protals. I've got tier macro now. Okay, so Zealots have a new passive called Psyblades. Attack damage is not decreased by enemy armor. What? They ignore armor? Yo, does it also auto-build pylons? Can we have an auto-build pylon thing in the game? Or can I, am I gonna hit supply blocks every time? Wait, I'm building two of them at once! No, 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 I'm definitely gonna hit a supply block. It's okay, I'll just fight. Whoa, 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 everybody act cool! Oh, sh oh god! Uh, kill that thing, please. This is not what I anticipated. Okay, that was not great. I'll be honest with you, that was not great. I'm gonna turn off the autocast. I'm not a fan. Oh my god, they stopped. They stopped automatically making it. That's insane. Uh, I, I don't know. I hmm. maybe I'll use it, but I'm not sure. Seems kind of silly. Loco, do you remember this picture? Can you tell us what's happening here? Oh god, what did you just link me? Oh, I remember this picture. Yeah. This is after me and Winter had a romantic dinner in Germany. This was in Cologne, Germany. It was very romantic. 
Uh, what's not pictured on this photo is another one that we took, um, well, I was with a large group of people, but it kind of looks like we are just having dinner by candlelight with two of us. But yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was beautiful. Winter is a big fan of these photos. Is this with the banana incident? It could be with the banana incident, yes. It could be the same event as the banana incident. Anyways. Wait, what? Oh, it's a reference. An average human in the vanilla game scale? Mm. So how large is the average human in a, in a game of StarCraft? Is there like a, an average size? Dude, zealots are tiny. So if the humans are supposed to be six foot, so like 180, zealots are kind of cute. Because I would be the average sized human. I'm, I'm, I'm six foot, right? So the average zealot, I could like, you know, could pet him like that. That's cute. Ah, yeah. One Spectre is about one loco. Is about one average vanilla unit. They're wearing a combat suit loco. Are you suggesting Spectres wear high heels? I guess they do. Yeah. Hey, thank you very much, Crips uh, Crispy Taco. Best team ever. Great casting, low jam. I thought Zealots were supposed to be bigger. There's a banana loco. Wait, wait, what? Uh, ah, I think these are supposed to be the real skill ones. <laughs> these are both average humans. One of them is just averager. I think the small ones were supposed to be the real ones. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. One of them is Dutch, right? Why well, he's small? It's just the tip of the Spear of a Dune, I know that much, but... The tip's still supposed to be pretty big. There it is, dude. That didn't fit, dude. It looked like a warp, but it also kind of looked like it was flying from that position. That thing was supposed to be 70 kilometers or something along those lines big. Like, actually supposed to be massive. Oh, well. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for being here. Don't forget to smile. Stay awesome. And I hope to see you once again tomorrow for another stream. Take care, everyone. Womp womp. Womp womp. Thank you, Shadarki. Womp womp. Womp womp. Thank you, Bonnie Warren. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, Ugh. as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport? to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> Joyful chirp. <laughs> yeah, that's one way to describe it. <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Huh? Okay. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible Accio. moment. Now, that's it. Not to worry. Ah. Okay. Fun game. Fun game. Right now. Very good. No, that was not very good, mate. This guy, he aims to get third place. We don't want to get third place. That's embarrassing. Excellent First or nothing. There. there it is. There it is. There it is. Easy. 
What's the annual tuition? I don't want to talk good. about it. Points to Slytherin. Woo! Well, they're certainly Baby. no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Easy. Anai, would you care to give our new student oh a bit of oh a God. challenge? Oh, God. She's going to wreck me, man. She's going to wreck me. Come on up. I'm gonna get destroyed. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you oh. are playing red. Oh, okay, Clear? okay, okay. Yes, sir. Can I sabotage her? Do I have to press K for the court rules? <laughs> Hello? Do I have to open the court rules first? Yeah, okay, I figured that much. It says the number that at the is bottom. How it's done. Ah, okay, okay, okay. We're taking turns. Oh, I thought we we're doing both at the same time. I see. Akio. Oh, what? Why are you sabotaging me right now? Get That's out of the way! It. Here we go. Yo, yo, don't roll mine off. Can I roll hers off? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do the right one, and then I'm gonna roll her ball off. Yes. I'm cheating the system, dude. Don't worry about it. Mate. Oh. Oh, so close, so close, so close. Oh, dude, 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 I can roll, I can roll both of them off. I can roll both. She's so dumb. Okay. Easy. How many points? Huh? Get wrecked, dude. Absolutely wrecked. Destroyed. Peace was Let's never an option. A bit more interesting, shall we? Ooh! <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. Dude, I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. Like you a bullying an NPC. It. It's a competition chat. Settles it all. Lisa. Oh, she's pretty good. She's pretty good. I'm gonna hit the boxes for sure. I'm not very good at these sort of things. That is how it's done. Is it though? Akio. Oh. F I don't lose don't, your composure. Don't, don't even. Don't think about it. Don't. Don't even. Don't even. If I see one keck W, right away. Right. Right away. Let us see this. I was really trying hard not to hit the boxes. Okay. For what it's worth, I didn't hit the boxes. Oh! There we go. Mate. Okay, we're gonna have to do another dirty move. Akio. No, that's not my intention. Very good. <sighs> that was not my intention. That was not like I Here we go. <laughs> that's not what I wanted. I can still roll one of them off. <sighs> If I roll one of them off and hit in the in the in the 50, I'm good. I'm good. Get wrecked, dude. Okay, okay, we're gonna go right now. I do not think I will start going easy on you now. Ooh! That was an execution. It was an execution. It really was. Get wrecked. Oh. Very good, both of you. Well done. GG, easy. Not even close. They wanted to do a best of three. 2-0. Not even close. That wasn't cheating. That was part of the rules chat. What do you mean it was cheating? That was 100% fair. Missed? I read about a bunch of performance issues and obviously I'm playing, I'm playing this like, I don't know, like a week or so after the release, something like that. So maybe it's not all too crazy that like they've done a, a patch to fix a couple problems. But... Hey peeps. Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice your mole? As long as we're only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory. Not for the meek. Please, Peeves, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But he failed, as did his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. And so to she agreed. A contract with her, not with him. That if I behaved, I'd have one weekly sweep. Sweep. I'll get you for this. Everything feels very lively. It's nice. The low dance emote, by the way, got updated to no longer have that little flashing frame. 
It is now absolutely perfect. Could never imagine a better emote than that one. Hello, Brian. Good morning. What's Chats. up, Brian? I mean, low Brian. Or, or not Brian, I mean. There is slash r slash one orange brain cell. A subreddit dedicated to derpy orange cats. Most upvoted all time. Whoa, this guy, after watching me clean the litter box and throw poop into a litter locker for weeks, he decided to cut out the middleman and poop directly in the locker? Mate. Impressive. He always tries to lie down on top of eggs, so we put ping pong balls in the air curtain. Okay. Very nice. <laughs> Two hours of cat tree building later. <laughs> what is that? What do you have on your wall, dude? Why does he have my forehead? Here's the ping pong curtain. Today I picked her out at the shelter. My god. Not a very smart cat, dude. I do like cats. Booker loves staring at ice cubes. He doesn't lick them or touch them. He just stares and purrs. It's a weird cat, man. But yeah, I can see them doing that. Cats are good at some things, but not a lot. That's a great subreddit. I've never heard of that. One brain cell. All right. Toby has been making little noises lately. So whenever Toby goes to sleep, he's just sitting there like... And like he does that for like 10 minutes. And then at some point he passes out and he doesn't make the noise anymore. When he first started doing it, I was concerned, but it seems like a feature, not a bug. Violets are red, or wait, roses are red, violets are blue. Yeah, beautiful. Woke up next to my Valentine today. I love you so much, StarCraft 2 Marine. Aww, that is cute. I would love to wake up right next to a Marine. Watching mirror matchups as I am Katowice, actually playing mirror matchups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. StarCraft 2 Pro Gamer Power Ranking Post IEM Karavitsa. What is all of this? Oliveira? Okay, yes. Scarlet Cabal Leader, right? Solar Ultra Pajamas. Very nice. Creator Good Mental. Offline Max Packs. <laughs> Rainer Good Mental. Special Blanco. I casted a best of three series featuring Special today, man. Special has been playing a lot of Battle Cruisers lately. It's really fun. SOS? SOS hasn't played StarCraft in years, man. This is a. Uh... What is going on? What is going on right now in this. Who made this? Abomination. What a horrible meme. It sucks special, didn't make it out of his group. It really does. He showcased some really fun StarCraft 2, though. I've got um, a video of him facing off against Elazer going up tonight. This guy is pulling out the craziest mech builds. Really fun stuff, actually. No, he's been more Gumiho than Gumiho. Ooh, damn. That is nice. Is that 3D printed? I guess so. That's sick. Yeah, this is Impact these days, man. Impact is actually a Giga Chat. I don't know uh, how that all of a sudden happened, but Impact suddenly became the Giga Chat. If you go to Impact's Instagram, the guy's been... No, this is actually what he looks like. He posts Instagram stories all the time. He's got an Instagram story right now. Let's see. What does he post? Look, this guy is an actual Giga Chat. Pretty cool, dude. Didn't hear of him for a while. I think he went to the military. Comes back. Looks like this. Okay, then. Classic. <laughs> Looks like Loco. Oh, yeah. Looks just like me. I just have at least 10% more body fat. Probably more. More body fat equals more love, right? That's how it works. I protect my muscles. Can I go swimming? Is that possible? Yeah. This is not how you swim, dude. I don't know when's the last time the developers of this game went swimming, but like... <laughs> What is this technique? Horrible. Oh, there we go. That's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. Okay. What do you feel about that technique, Drone Rush? Drone Rush is a swimmer. Second one was okay. First one was... It was something, man. Okay. What does it say on the door? Your wand awaits. 
Dude, I feel like going one shopping is one of the most exciting things in your life. I feel like some kids at Hogwarts purposefully break their ones just so they can go to Ollivander's again. Leo. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Uh, Holy Wanders. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? I think this is uh, uh, Ollivander's great grandfather or something. Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with Mate, me. I want to be treated Let's like that when I go into a store. Let's find the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. You know me, Ollivander. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Swish and flick. No, no, hmm. no, 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 no. How odd. No. no. Once more, come on, really swish it. No, that ain't it, dude. Oh, dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> Let we'll me just try a casual. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, not you. Uh, <laughs> just a uh, casual perhaps. one. Yes. A rare wood, 13, 13 and 3 quarters. 13 and 3 quarters inches is more accurate indeed, Ollivander. Let's give this one a try. Yeah, yeah. That sounds much better. And before the one we settle on is like 3 inches. <laughs> Oh shit, that's what's gonna happen, isn't it? Looks like it's back oh, to the man. You. Uh, This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um Where are you? Come on. Perhaps you uh, Ah There you are. Dude, it's a purple box, isn't it? Oh no, it's the green box! Yes. I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Dude, Ollivander has a really fun job. Ooh. Crooked Spiral Dark Gray. It's swishy, 13 and a half inches. It's got a unicorn hair core, and it's made of uh, acacia, uh, acacia wood. Okay. Finalized wand. Well, I can customize my wand? Okay. How intriguing. What kind what of one do we want to run, dude? I feel like this is going to take longer than the character customization. I, d I wouldn't just want to run a stick, okay? Let let's be real. Stick? No. How this, intriguing. This is already much nicer. I do kind of like this one. This one looks pretty sweet, man. Stick is like D tier at best. Yeah. We got a... This one's, this one's got a little bit of charm as well. Not gonna lie, that is it's kind of a stick, but you can see that it's got some, you know, work. This one has got a little bit of a spiral. How intriguing. This one, no, this one's too much, man. No, no. Yeah, this is the one I'm settling on, I think. This is great. We'll go with the middle collar. I can choose the length. 14 and a half inches. Nine How and a half intriguing. inches. That's the smallest it will go. Nine and a half inches. Okay. Unyielding or quite bendy? Chat, chat, help yourselves, okay? Don't, no. Calm down. I'm gonna go with How whippy. How intriguing. We <laughs> rigid and stiff or solid or hard. All good options. But I've settled on reasonably yes, supple. Indeed. Ooh, I can choose what kind of core I want. A dragon's heart string. That serves as the core of a wand, known for producing powerful magic. Known for producing consisting magic, or a great range of magic. I don't know, man. I feel like a phoenix feather is kind of cool. Dragon heart strength sounds kind of cool as well, but I'm going to go phoenix. Ah, phoenix feather. Exceptionally rare, and a core with a strong sense of initiative. 
Yeah, yeah. And exceptionally expensive as well, isn't it? Well, I've got no money, so I don't know what you're gonna what do. What do you think? <clears throat> Dragon's a bit too edgy. Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. As a Yennefer fan, you think <laughs> Unicorn is best? Ah. <sighs> StarCraft 1 is going to turn 25 years old next month. You know what that means? StarCraft is too old for DiCaprio. You know, Leo can continue dating 20-year-olds for his entire life. Like, this this is honestly the pinnacle of success for someone like Leo, I guess. This man can be 90 years old and still date 23-year-olds. It's a little creepy. We're getting into the point right now where it's like a little weird, man. It, it was already weird about a decade ago, but like right now it's very weird. And it's gonna get weirder moving forward, but, um... Ah, whatever. I brought my StarCraft 2 card, or card collection to IEM to make players and talents sign them. I did sign one of these as well, man, but mine is really ugly. I f***ed it up. I got to, uh... It was an 8? Yeah, man, look, look how ugly mine is. I didn't really realize what he was trying to do. So I just kind of signed a corner because I thought he was gonna put more on the same card. I was a little confused. My, mine's really bad. Oh, well. He said something about, like, that he had everybody sign a card. So I thought he had, he was gonna have everybody sign the same... It, I don't know. I was... It wasn't my smartest moment. Carax before level 11. Please carry me, Daddy Alarak. Carax after level 11. F*** with me and I'll... <laughs> shove a good... Okay. All right. Yes. Carax can start insta-building things. At level 11. It's a game changer. Chinese spy balloon over US is a weather device, says Beijing. <laughs> There it is. Oh yeah, guys. Uh, there's a new YouTube CEO as of today. Susan apparently decided to step down because she's been doing it for a long time. And the new YouTube CEO is apparently a, a guy who's very big into crypto, NFT, and the whole shebang. He's an NF yeah, he's an NFT bro. So we'll we'll see what goes down. Three months to go. Yo, CPK, how are you, man? Long time no see. Thank you for the 97. Eight years. That's an eight-year sub badge right there. CPK has also been living the YouTube life for many years now, man. Are you looking forward to having NFTs? Yeah, so YouTube CEO Susan has stepped down after nine years. Honestly, dude, even after all these years, I still don't know how to pronounce her last name. Warshit... I, I don't know. I actually don't know. So she wrote, Earlier today, I sent an, um, uh, an email to employees announcing that I'd be stepping back from my role as the head of YouTube to start a new chapter focused on my family, health, and personal projects. Health? Family? Personal projects. It's been an honor of my career. Your story, you will continue, blah, blah, blah. The longtime uh, chief product officer, New Mohan. New Mohan? Mohan? Anyways, um, apparently he's the new CEO of YouTube. Occupation business executive. YouTube is a, uh, a pretty large platform. I'm assuming they put, uh, you know, smart people in charge. And not just, you know, your average NFT bro. Because when I hear the words NFT bro, I honestly think of a 22-year-old who, you know, lost all their money betting it all on GameStop. But I don't think, I don't think that's what he did. At least, maybe that's some copium from me, but, you know, yeah, I don't think that's, I don't think that's what he does. Some people actually do step down to focus on family more, man. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. This is crazy, but I'm sure she got paid well. I don't know what her estimated net worth would be. Oh, okay, well, normally, normally these websites are rather inaccurate, but at least it should give you a reasonable estimation as to where she's at. She'll, you know, may maybe you gotta half it. Maybe, even if it's 10%, she'll be alright, man. Yeah, at some point, maybe not a bad idea to, uh... She's 54 years old, apparently. And now she's like, okay, I'm gonna focus on my family life. Alright. Uh... Do you think there's an invisible bridge? No. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. All right. I was just wondering. Okay. I thought maybe it was one of those bridges that suddenly appears when I take a step. Hello. Can I wake you up manually? Sure can. Oh, I can boot him off the platform. Protego. Akio. I don't know if I want to take a lot of potions. I do have some potions that I can use, but... 
Ah, so that's what recharges my ancient magics, I see. Guys, there's a chest. I don't know how to get there. It's an invisible bridge, Loco. No, it's not. No, no, no. No, 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 it's most definitely not. No, it's definitely not an invisible. Okay, f I'll move. Okay, oh, it One wasn't. Year already? Nice to see you playing, but how dare you be Slytherin? But I guess after what happened in Frostpunk, it was inevitable. Thank you very much, Invictus. Are you really surprised I'm a Slytherin now? Ooh, I got a beret. Dude, this is getting better and better. First, first we had a beautiful, beautiful fedora. Now I just unlocked a beret. Oi, oi, oi. That is quite the look. For Americans watching, this is exactly what European fashion is like. My character is uh, very sophisticated, mixing both British as well as French fashion in one outfit. This is what everybody wears around here. Ah! The f I was looking at the chat. So wait, how in the world do I even do this? Can I reactivate it already halfway through? Stay on! Stay on! Oh, I think that's what I'm supposed to do. I think I'm supposed to jump. Am I dumb? I feel like I can just run it. Jump! Easy, first try. Basically Assassin's Creed. This must be the way forward, but to where? So this is all in the library? My God, man. They have so much real estate in the UK, it's amazing. That's really what the room of requirement is for, man. Students who really desperately need to poop but can't do it in a public bathroom, so they, you know, they run around and suddenly a door opens in the middle of a corridor. Just a toilet. <laughs> Bit offended the room thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. I do have a third channel too, actually. Loco Clips. Not, not even more Loco, though. I posted a new little short on Loco Clips this morning. They don't, they don't get the greatest amount of views. But uh, I've been trying to publish a couple of these vertical videos. I was talking to Kolaris for a while, and Kolaris apparently has been really getting into painting Warhammers recently. Wait, what's expensive about painting Warhammers? I have no idea. I'm a complete, like, silver... Not even silver league. I haven't even done my placement matches. Are, is it the figures or the paint? The models are expensive? It's 50 bucks for three plastic miniatures? So wait, what do you get for 50 bucks? Loco, not everyone is a millionaire like you. Oh, yeah, right. So wait... Painting Warhammer figures is a flex in the gaming community? I had no idea, man. Revelio. Wait, really? The cost for models for a standard game is around 700 euro? So wait, this is this is a Dutch web shop? So wait, these are unpainted though, right? I imagine what you get. Isn't the whole part like the whole point is that you paint them yourself? Isn't that kind of the point? Oh, yeah, yeah, they showed... Oh, yeah, okay, this is what you get. So, wait, do you get all of this for 120 euro? Like, what do you get for 120 euro? Because I would imagine you get all of this. That's the starter box. But this must be so many hours worth of painting, though. Right? Like, how long does it take to paint one of these things? That's a saving pack? I see. This doesn't seem like the worst deal. I, someone made it sound just now like one of these little figures was like 50 bucks. I guess I guess you need a lot more though for I don't I've no I've no idea about the game. I don't know. Loco's peeking down the rabbit hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Okay, so this is one guy for 120 euro. Damn, these are cool, dude. Holy crap. I've never seen these things before. That looks insane. Oh no. Fly, you fool. Does it say how big these are now? Like, it doesn't say how big these things are. It just says it's 31 euro. 
This could be bait. It could be literally that big. There's a number for the base size. It gives you an idea. I see, I see. It's one one hundredth the size of your mama. Thank you very much, Fear Dragon. I appreciate you, man. One one hundredth the size of my mom is probably about right. Here's a donation for your dice fund. If you're going to start playing 40k, you'll need about 500 dice. Thank you very much for response. No, I have no interest in playing. I have no interest in playing, but I was looking at the figures and they looked kind of fun to paint, you know? It looked kind of fun. But also, I've never been particular. You know, like when you were in elementary school, you're like six years old and you get an assignment to like paint within the lines. I've never been very good at that, okay? Like, I can do it. But after about three minutes, I lose attention and I'm just like, I don't know. I've done a lot of painting over the years. Not, not, not much over the last five years or so, but in the past I used to paint quite a bit, but it was never, it, it, it was never a whole lot of tidy work. 242, 473. Okay, we're gonna scroll down to the bottom. The 1997 Space Marine Thunderhawk gunship. I love how the guy is handling it with gloves on. <laughs> That's so nerdy. Like it's Tutankhamun's tomb or whatever. <laughs> this is his sarcophagus. <laughs> Gets his little brush out. That's amazing. So this model sold for $650 when it first released. Okay. So this wait the most expensive thing is twenty one hundred. So this one is rare. That's why it's expensive. This vo this model can cost more than twenty one hundred depending on configuration. It's almost two feet tall. Dude, that's cool though. Two feet tall. That is pretty big. Yeah, that is big. How much time does it take to paint something like this though? Cause that's a lot of work. I walked into a game shop and they were playing a game in there with six of those titans. There was enough money on the table to go buy a car. Yeah, that's that's awesome. I've never really thought about these things very much, but it seems kind of fun. Apparently there's a hidden broom in this game, guys. Andy sent me a video. A vertical video at that as well. I know, very exciting. About a hidden broom. Apparently it's pretty sick. It is 5,000 gold for a broom, though. I don't know if I'm cool enough for that. Let me actually see if there's anything else I can buy from this man. I should probably buy these recipes. Because they're a one-time purchase. How much is a healing pot? I'll get those as well. Okay. So apparently the broom is faster than the... Default broom. Loco is on YouTube. He can afford it. Two million in my case. You think I make two million dollars? Uh, I don't think so, man. You want to make a million dollars a month? What's the point of making a million dollars a month, Chad? Other than the fact that it looks cool. My Twitch income literally leaked. That does not stop anybody from calling anybody anything. You think income leaking has anything to do with the memes? No, 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 no. I asked about Loco's net worth on ChatGPT, and it said six million. Really? Maybe if I sell my organs. I have a pretty well-functioning liver, I believe. I've got a kidney. I'm not really using that much, so I could probably sell one of them. I heard you can sell like half, half or so of your liver, the rest will grow back. I read it on the internet, so it must be true. Loco, just sell a few of your Teslas. Right. I was thinking about selling the Bugatti, but maybe a few of the Teslas is a better idea. Loco, Loco can afford the broom. What does this thing say? I am between one and five million dollars of net worth. I'm still under review though, so you don't really know. I'm 26 years old. What? My dress size is unknown. Okay. I thought it was 30 years old. Loco prefer prefers not to tell the details of marital status and divorce. This is true, chat. Amazing page. High quality. Loco could buy 391,000 Big Macs. There's a website that calculates the amount of Big Macs I could buy. That's amazing, man. <laughs> My god. I have never seen a, a more JPEG JPEG than this sh What the f That picture is so cursed. If Loco were to monetize their YouTube channel, they estimate it's worth... What? 783.22 thousand. Who's... Who... Who does write any... What? 
Look who could buy 391,000 Big Macs. All of Garden, what's that? How expensive is a pair of Air Jordans? What the f What a great website. High quality. That wasn't even a picture of Air Jordans, right? <sighs> what a great place. Yeah, one thing I've learned is that those- I used to rely on those net worth websites quite a bit. Until they started putting me on those net worth websites as well. I was like, okay, let me Google. Uh, Bill Gates net- okay, maybe Bill Gates is not a great example, because, you know, he's pretty public. But, you know, your average person, net worth. Uh, turns out, the estimations are crazy, man. Those websites estimate I'm worth between $20 and $48 million. The highest I've ever seen was $48 million. Based on nothing. Kinda wild. It's got more on the second page, are you kidding me? More terrible calculations? It says I can buy 979 mountain bikes? There are three pages? There's more pages? Next page. <laughs> this is so bad. How much do they think a puppy costs? How is- how is- 78 bottles of luxury wine. What does this even mean? Yeah, the only thing I've really learned here is that apparently those shoes are more expensive than PlayStation 5s. That's mental. 39 diamond rings. This is- what does that mean? <laughs> I love the Olive Garden and then this as well. I'm just saying, man. It's a very Americanized... I could buy two suburban single-family homes? Mate, a home like this in the Netherlands would cost millions. What do you- what do you mean? Like, genuinely? This would be expensive in the Netherlands, man. Although this looks a little cardboardy, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on. But... <sighs> Anyways... Dick hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. <sighs> but then you do have the Texas grit, I guess. Yeah, that's... Uh, uh, yeah, that is good for it. I must prove my point. We do not need to use the dark arts as my family instructs. When I reach the scriptorium, I will find evidence that there's no more to Zalazar Slytherin than we realize. Or there is more, rather. Sorry. I have written to my brother, he know, or he now knows how I access the corridor's entrance and that there is no straight path to reach the aquarium. Blah, blah, blah. I hope my brother follows. Blah, blah, blah. A journal entry, signed by Noctua Gaunt. Gaunt? Ominous. Your family was here. I know. She was my aunt. You knew? I didn't tell me. Wait, really? Ominous, Ominous. is Voldemort's the ancestor? The journal mentions many challenges ahead. Why I said this could be dangerous. Aunt oh, Nock kept no. my father informed until she vanished. The voice is ancient, sinister. So that's why ominous is the word that he is, I guess, huh? You hear a voice. It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, "Speak to me." Is it puzzle I'm time? A parcel mouth. Yeah. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I wish all Slytherins could talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak past the tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. <laughs> There's a character named Ominous and you're surprised they're related to the main antagonist? What do you mean, Motlesis? Next thing you tell me is that Cruella de Vil is also not... The nicest person? No, no, no. Ominous. He's just misunderstood. Believe me, I am having thoughts, but I'm still convinced we should go ahead. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. Lumos. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Yeah, maybe Between you shouldn't be here. Us, I... Never mind. Screw you. There's no clear way forward. Like a maze. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. The door we came from, it closed. 
And there's more than one gate ahead. Did uh, Mr. Slytherin have a minimap? Each gate for clues. Rebellion. Lumos. The minimap is pretty sick, man. I'm not gonna lie. I spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. Shh, guys. The gate. I think we're locked in. Again. Oh. is not yet finished with us. I've lost hope. I'm locked in. I heard a scream and saw the tortured faces. The only way forward is with an unforgivable curse. Even if I wanted to cast it, I have no one upon whom to do so. Salazar Slytherin created a malicious challenge indeed. In my last correspondence to my brother, I'd invited him here. Now, if he looks for me alone, I'll have led him to his death. Despite our differences, I wish him no ill. I wish we had parted on better terms. <sighs> okay, chat. The um, they're gonna have to pull a straw, I and guess, on who I'm gonna practice it on. Entry. She mentions being this is why here, Sebastian came along. By an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have no, no, no. We brought Sebastian you. along. Don't worry Honest, about it. Sinister. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, but I know what to do. Mm-hmm. Me too. It's going to be difficult. No, it's not gonna be that hard. All I need to do is uh, I'm gonna say the words, and then um, yeah, you open the door, Sebastian. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door, and Crucio's etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's my guess. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. No, 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 I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. <sighs> Should have known he would have told you. <sighs> and one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. Okay, now we'll die here, mate. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. Mm, X for doubt. Don't think so. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast this if I have to. Very well, I don't want to learn the Cruciatus Curse. I want to learn the Cruciatus Curse, but you must cast it on me. Teach me the Cruciatus Curse, and I'll cast it on you. I mean, it's obviously two or three. The question is, do we want to use it on Sebastian? Okay, let's do a pull. Let's do a pull. Which option? One, two, three. You have one minute to vote. Oh my god, there's a couple of people voting one. <laughs> really? Democracy makes torture okay, that's- <laughs> That's not what I'm saying! Look, otherwise we'll die in this room, okay? I'm just running a poll because I know what you guys are gonna vote on. I already knew the outcome. I'm just using this to justify my, uh, my means, that's what I'm doing. Sebastian! Mate! <clears throat> I want to learn the curse, and I think it's best if I cast it on you. Very well, if that's what you want. To perform the spell, raise your wand, point it at me, and firmly declare, Crucio, hold on as long as you can.
We're good friends, okay? Me and Sebastian. I'm sure this will not be a problem at all. This is like an advanced Zoro. Not easily done. <sighs> that was very complex. Ready? I'm ready. Got it on the first try, baby. Are you all right? He's doing all right. He's doing all right. Don't worry about it. Oh. Are you all right? That pain. I would have done anything to make it stop. But I'll survive. Honestly, that didn't look too bad, man. I do Let's keep moving. We made it. We I, I mean, Salazar Slytherin. He didn't even scream, man. I, I, oh, I can't believe we're here. I mean, he was worried he was here just the third wheel, okay? At least he, um, he was here for a reason. And I think that's beautiful. Rebellion. So do I have Crucio now as, as one of my... One of my abilities? Oh, I sure do. Causes most enemies to writhe in pain as they take damage over time. Also curses the victim and cursed enemies take additional damage. 